enhancements in the AutoCAD 2018 release help reduce the problems created by broken reference paths. Using relative paths instead of full paths can help you avoid many of the problems associated with broken reference paths. In AutoCAD 2018, when you attach an external file to an AutoCAD drawing, the default path type is now set to relative path instead of full path. If relative path isn't your preferred path type, you can use the new ref path type system variable to modify the default reference path type. Set the value to 0 for no path, 1 for relative path, or 2 for full path. In previous releases of AutoCAD, you can't assign a relative path to a reference file when the host drawing has not been saved and is therefore unnamed. In AutoCAD 2018, you are able to assign a relative path to a file even when the host drawing is unnamed. If you select the reference file in the External References palette, the Saved Path column displays a full path with an asterisk prefix to indicate that a change will take place when you save the host drawing. A property in the Details pane also indicates that the reference file is pending a relative path. Even if you begin implementing relative paths as a best practice for referencing files, it's still likely that you'll continue to run across broken paths or missing files in drawings that have not yet been accurately updated with relative paths. Those files may not exactly be missing, it just may be that their paths, often full paths, are pointing to an old or inaccurate location. In AutoCAD 2018, the contextual menu of the External References palette offers two new options when you right-click on a reference file that is not found. The option to select New Path allows you to browse to a new location for a missing reference file. While fixing the path for that selected file, you're given the option to apply the same new location for other missing references. And if your ref path type system variable is set to 1, it automatically converts those xrefs to relative paths even if they were originally full paths. The Find and Replace option offers another method for changing the saved path. It enables you to select one or more reference files and replace any occurrences of an existing path with a new one. This method also honors the ref path type system variable. You can see it automatically converted the full paths to relative paths. You can, of course, manually change the path type for selected references. For example, several of these XREFs were found, but they're still using a full path, which may cause problems later if the folders are moved. When you choose Change Path Type from the right-click or toolbar menus, the current path type of the selected reference is disabled. This helps you identify which type of path is currently used so that you can more easily choose which alternate path type to use. To further minimize problems with broken external reference paths, if the current drawing includes relative references and you save it to a different location, you're prompted to automatically update the relative paths based on the new location of the host drawing. Nested, or child references, now display as orphaned instead of unreferenced if their parent drawing is unloaded or not found. And to further help you identify problems with broken nested references, orphaned references now display in the proper tree view location, even when missing. The open option is no longer disabled when you right click on an unloaded reference in the external references palette, enabling you to quickly open unloaded reference files. If you rename an unloaded reference in the external references palette, it no longer automatically reloads it remains unloaded until you intentionally reload it. If you rename an externally referenced file from a tool other than the external references palette, such as the rename dialog box or the classic XREF manager, the new reference name is automatically updated in the XREF palette. You no longer have to reload it to see the new name. 